What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in once again. My name is Oscar, and this is where I talk about reality, awareness, consciousness, connecting with spirituality, and knowing your true nature beyond the conventional. So, I'm back here with a video on the third eye. I know a lot of you might now be discovering what the third eye is, and for those of you already knowing what a third eye is, you are already starting to open your third eye. So I'm making this video to kind of give you a set of stages. And the topic for this video, the title for this video will be the four stages or the four things you will realize when your third eye starts to open. Okay? So let's jump right into it. The first step. Okay, number one, uno. The first thing that I noticed that was beginning to happen through my experience, right? And through the experience of others that I've discussed too about the third eye is that they start to notice more and more coincidences, miracles, and just dynamics about reality, okay? They start to realize how things were a reflection of themselves and that basically everything around them was giving them signs, okay? Messages of some sort about what they were thinking, what they were asking at that moment in time. So they slowly start to realize and develop that uh, faith or belief that the universe, reality, and God was literally communicating with them through numbers, through uh, posters, the computer, anything. The fact is that in this first stage, one of the first things they began to realize, and like myself as well, was that all these coincidences were taking place a lot in, in my daily life. But I want you to realize that it's not that the coincidences were happening more than usual. It's that now, through your development, right, and opening of the third eye, what begins to happen is that more energy is now flowing to this area, this energy center. So now you're becoming aware and in a sense hyper aware to the coincidences that were already happening, but you just weren't paying attention to them, so therefore you weren't, being, you weren't able to identify them as coincidences. So I hope you understand that part, right? So, and then now you are understanding, wow, this is a constant communication that I have back and forth with God with the universe, with reality. And as you can see how this helps an individual, right? Like you, like me, really, really start to trust in this process of becoming our best version. Because we have a guidance team, right? We have support from that higher state of consciousness available to us at all times. So let's jump right into number two. The second thing that you'll begin to realize, number two, dos. Second thing you begin to realize when you start opening your third eye is that you're gonna feel separate, okay? Feelings of separation, right? Maybe egotistical tendencies, tendencies might start to develop when it comes to you and another person. And when I say separation, I mean you'll be starting to identify yourself as woke, okay? I'm awake and other people are asleep. And why are other people asleep while I am awake? What makes me and them different? Why, do they, why don't they wake up? So another way that this might manifest itself is that you might begin to try to wake everyone else up, right? Wake up your family members, your friends. Like, dude, wake up, it's so easy, it's so obvious. How do you not realize this about our world, about reality? All right, and again, this is just a stage. This is just one of the results, one of the effects of what happens when you start to open your third eye. Okay, but Again, I'm making this video again to just align you with my truth, my experience, that when this starts to happen, again, what you'll be able to realize is that it's cool, it's cool, they're, they're on their own path. Each individual soul, human being, and entity is on their own journey of expansion and remembering who they really are, okay? So whatever time it takes that person, your family, your family member or friend to awaken, that's on them. That's their free choice, will, and decision to make when they want to go and cover the truth about our world and who we really are, okay? So that'll happen, you'll start to let go of that easily, little by little, but that doesn't take away from the fact that you'll start to feel this way, right? The second stage, or that um, you'll start to realize this as you're on this path of self-discovery, and the path of opening your third eye, and knowing your spiritual self, that a lot of people aren't choosing to, and they're, they're essentially asleep, okay? They're asleep in the fact that they don't, are, they aren't choosing to find the information that's so readily available to them because they haven't been guided yet. They don't have the awareness, the energy there to really go deeper and deeper into that understanding. Okay? So that's number two. Let's jump right into number three now. The third 
thing that you'll begin to realize when you open your third eye or when your third eye begins to open is that now, since you already know this truth, you've already classified yourself as an awake person, a spiritual person, now you wanna make the big steps, right? You wanna make the big steps forward to really embody your highest potential, to know what this third eye has to offer, what this world has to offer, what is, what is my true potential? So you'll start making decisions such as changing your diet, going vegan, going vegetarian, whatever calls you. You might start to even meditate a little more. Why? Because now you know who you are to a certain degree that allows you to then use this awareness as a tool to further develop your expansion and growth into your highest version, your best version. So as you begin to meditate, as you begin to change your diet, again, this stage, if you want to call it a stage, you could call it the decalcification stage. Now for a little short brief summary right, of what decalcification means in relation to the third eye is that you are now beginning a purging, a cleansing process of not only energy, but of just chemical, which I guess, yeah, it's just energy at its core, right? So you're just doing a detox, basically, within your entire body, cleaning yourself and kind of uh, shifting into a blank state of beingness so that you can embark on this new journey and become your new self. So you're cleansing all the toxins, the chemicals that are within your body, you're cleansing your brain, you're allowing for more energy, more light to enter your beingness so you can evolve. So you can go from a human being to a highly evolved being, knowing your infinite and spiritual self. But again, this takes time and this takes changing your diet, meditating, practicing other methods to further awaken yourself, to know more and more of who you are. So from number one, steps one, two, and three, stages one, two, and three, from the three things I've told you so far are what begins to happen with your third eye is that as you can see, each and every stage, the energy that is happening within your third eye, the opening of your third eye starts to increase. You are now developing more and more energy to enter that portion of, your, of who you are. So now this leads me to the fourth thing, okay? The fourth thing that you'll begin to realize when you start to open your third eye is that now, with so much energy being there, you might go into something called the fear stage, okay? The stage of fear, where you start to increase the energy so much and opening your third eye to the point of discomfort, of you literally becoming uncomfortable that you have opened your third eye that much. Now, I'm talking in relation to myself, what I went through, and that I've seen another, another couple of people go through along their journey. So I want you to remember, and the reason I made this video is again, for that awareness, of what's gonna to be to happen when you start to search for the truth. So follow your resonance, follow your guidance, and whenever you feel expansive and excited about life and powerful and ready to take on your everyday life and, your, and make your dreams come true, then that's the state you wanna be in. Be in, but try not to push too much the limit of your expansion. Don't rush it, enjoy the process of becoming, okay? And remember to harmonize yourself more and more each day. Because by you going after this truth about who we are and what our capabilities are and tapping into these higher functions of, of um, our abilities, what you'll start to see is that you're capable of a lot more, okay? And then you basically live in the coolest, you know, five-star, 10-star rated movie that you've ever watched, okay? A hundred-star rating, literally. The life, the human experience is the best movie you could ever see. Because what we're truly capable of and what we're evolving into is incredible, it's infinite. And this is, that's why I saved this discussion, right? This point of view, this experience of what happens when you open a third eye to the fourth stage, the fourth thing that you realize. Because again, you're going deeper and deeper into the understanding of who you are. So you finally realize that you are a multidimensional infinite being. And with that essence of multidimensionality and infinity within you, then what does that tell you? That shows you that you are literally gonna to start to embark on this journey of perception increasing, of a consciousness expanding to the point where you go beyond yourself. Yes, okay? You're gonna start perceiving things that are gonna be paranormal, supernatural, and you're gonna feel that way yourself as well. This is all through opening more and more your third eye. 
all those extra extra sensory psychic abilities yes you have them available to you and all you have to do is tap in and develop that and one of the first you know steps doing so is opening the third eye so I want you to remember to stay grounded that is all part of the evolutionary process but that there's a ladder okay to embodying that state of harmony and bliss and evolution such as Jesus Buddha and all the other great famous spiritual masters the reason that they were able to embody that state of completeness with God right with reality with the universe is that they, they knew that they knew the key you know point of harmony within yourself of yes getting to know yourself evolving into your best self but having that discipline to really not push the to know your limits in that sense as you're evolving so you don't kind of see open the third eye get super scared and never open the third eye again because now you're scared you see what I'm saying here so uh, I get again I guess to give you another a little warning right and a little encouragement so that when you open your third eye more and more you might encounter things that will are gonna be fear-based and the only reason that you're gonna feel fear is because your entire life you've been watching movies that when you see something ugly you've classified that as fearful as terrifying so in a sense you've been cultivated as a person as a personality in such a way where you have developed fear and not being aware of who you really are and the connection that you have with that which you are being afraid of so stay strong stay true stay balanced speak your truth in every moment accept where you are in each stage of this and how much your third eye is opening surrender that ego right become more and more just like these great spiritual masters if you feel a little lost on your journey if you're doing things correctly just look at the great spiritual masters all right the ones that left their they reached that state of everythingness right of the so-called enlightenment and get yourself back in check what are you doing that's not in alignment with that and then there's your answer or you can use your intuition the power that you have within you ask in your mind and you shall receive okay through any means numbers messages right people so I believe in you guys stay true to your journey let's evolve like comment subscribe whatever resonates with you I'm great to have you all here watching much love much light namaste